Today we're gonna to learn how to set up a reveal or hide password function. This is great for user experience and making sure that people have entered the correct password without having two password fields and making, uh, creating more friction for your users and, and losing signups when uh, you're trying to, to get people to start using your app. So let's demo the password hide and reveal right now. So demo one, two, three, enter some text. Boom, we can reveal that text. Boom, we can hide it. I could keep going, as you can see, reveal it or hide it. So how do we do that? First of all, go into the bubble editor in the app that you want to add this hide or reveal function to and draw a input on the page. Okay, there we've drawn the input. Now with the content format of this input, you wanna set it to password. So now that we've set this to password, by default, I will show you now, what we're gonna see is these uh, black dots that are covering up the, the text as we enter it, or gray, depending on the color of the, um, the text itself. So I'll change the color right now to more black color. So what we need to do now is we need to get a, a plugin. It's called Reveal and Hide Password. It's gonna help us uh, create this function. It's not going to do everything for us. So we are going to do some additional steps after just simply adding it. So you're going to want to search, you're going to click on add plugins. So of course you went from the design tab to the plugins tab, add plugins. Now search for reveal. Here it is. So you want to click on install. It's free to install on your app. So once you're done with that and you, you, you can see it's installed, click on done, then you'll see it right here. Now we need to go into the settings and we need to enable something that really I think you should have enabled on all of your apps. And this is a good beginning step to do when you're building other apps too. So go to settings and we want to go down to, so from settings, go to general. Now that you're in general, you want to go down past general appearance into expose the option to add an ID attribute to HTML, HTML elements. So you wanna make sure that this box is checked. And this is gonna help us help this plugin determine which input that we're going to um, be toggling between revealing and hiding the info. So now that we're back in here, what we're gonna do in that we've revealed this ID is we're gonna double click on our input See all the way down at the bottom, there's this ID attribute. That's what we just allowed the, uh, we just exposed and we just allowed the app to, to add. So I'm gonna, you can enter in any numbers you want. I'm just gonna say uh, 007 because that's, that's cool. And then the next thing we need to do is we need to draw an element on the page. And this element is called a reveal. So you're gonna go under your visual elements, you're gonna see reveal. And that's appearing because we, added the plugin uh, reveal and hide password. So add that to the page. Next up, we need to have the func the icon that's going to appear that we're gonna click to reveal or hide the password. I like using this eye icon, so I'll show you how to get that uh, as well. So another one of my favorite plugins to add to any application is called Ionic Elements because it contains a whole bunch of cool elements that we can add right into the to our app. So click on add plugins again, search for Ionic, find Ionic elements right here, click on install, click on done. We're gonna go back to the design tab now, and then we're gonna go down to Ionic icon, which should be right here in your visual elements because you've just added that plugin. We're gonna draw this on the page, so it's about centered. So there we go. And we're gonna search for an eye. So as you can see, there's several eye options right here. I'll use this one. And I'm gonna make this one kind of dark like that. Next up, we can also uh, group these two elements together. So group these elements into a group. So I clicked the eye, hold, held down control, clicked the, the password input, left clicked, and then I clicked uh, bring these group these elements into a group. So now they're in a group. So we're gonna make these make this a bit wider like this. I'm gonna make this fixed width as well. Left, uh, right click, center horizontally. We'll bring, make this a bit bigger like that. 
Okay, that's nice. So I'm also gonna set this pack placeholder to password. I just actually just remove it completely. Okay, so we've done those steps now, but we need to now program what's gonna happen when this eye icon is clicked and when it's not clicked to show and reveal stuff. But before we do that, we also need to add a state to the page that, that keeps track of is this is this input hidden or is it visible? So to do that, we're gonna add a, a custom state. We need to keep track of that information. So click on this input. I'm gonna call this input a hide. This is this, the input you've drawn on the page. Click on the eye area right here. Click on add a new custom state. And we're gonna call the state hidden. You can call it whatever you want. Uh, hidden, it just tells us information about what this is about. That's why I chose the name hidden. And then I'm gonna go down to yes or no. I'm gonna say this is a state type yes or no. Create. Default value is going to be yes. So by default, the password field is going to be hidden. And uh, then we're gonna change that later. So, okay, we've done that. Now what we wanna do is we want to click on, double click on the eye, on an eye icon, go over to conditionals, define a new condition. And here we're going to say when inputs hide the input that we've just drew on the page, go down to the bottom, hidden is yes. Then we want the eye icon. We're gonna scroll, so then scroll down to select a property to change icon. We want it to look like this eye. Now we're gonna right click, copy this expression, click on define another condition, right click, paste this expression, and set this value to no. Now we're gonna go in here again and click on the icon. And this time we're gonna use this icon right here. So this icon that has a slash through it. Okay, so now we're saying, well, when it's not hidden, this is gonna, uh, we're gonna show the slash. So they'll click on the slash and it'll be unrevealed now. Excellent, so we're getting there. The next thing we're gonna, we'll really just have one more step to do and that is to program the toggling. So click on the eye again, double click, start to set it workflow. And in here, we're going to click on, click here to add a new action, go down to element actions, and you're gonna see a toggle a reveal function right here. So toggle the reveal element. Uh, I drew another, I have two reveals on the page. So I'm gonna choose re reveal B. You should only have one reveal on the page because you've only drawn one. I just did this whole process successfully first before teaching it to you guys to make sure that it was gonna be streamlined. So. So you should only have one of those. So you'll select reveal, reveal um, A probably is what it will say. Here is the ID section. We need to make sure that this ID is the ID that we chose for input hide, the input that we added to the page. As we can see, it's uh, we chose, I chose 007, you chose whatever you wanted. And we're just gonna make sure that those are the same. So I'm gonna type in 007 right here. Awesome, the next thing we need to do is when this I, when we're clicking that eye icon, well, we need to make sure that we're changing the state of hidden. So what I'm saying in here is we're gonna click here to add an action, element actions, set state, and then we're gonna go in here and say um, input hide, custom state hidden, we're gonna say is no. And now we're gonna say on this when action, so when the eye is clicked, only when only do this when um, we're going to say input hide the input name that you selected make sure in hide hidden is yes so when the hidden is yes toggle the reveal set hidden to no now we're going to copy this right click so right click copy right click paste and now we're going to say when inputs hide hidden is no toggle reveal b set state to hidden Yes. And that is it. We are now officially done with the top with the password toggle so we can test it out and make sure that it's working now. So here we go. I'm going to enter a value. This is a test or whatever. So reveal that boom, we can see it's revealed and I'm going to keep going test test, and it's hidden now. And that's it. That's how you have, that's how you're able to add a hide or reveal password function to your app. Hopefully that was super helpful. Now you know how to make user-friendly password inputs for all of your applications. You should definitely check out our website at newagedevelopment.bubbleapps.io 
and create an account so you can access our community where we will answer your questions about uh, debugging applications, getting clients as a web developer, specifically with Bubble, um, any sort of questions you have related to web development in Bubble so that you can become an expert and you can build anything that your imagination uh, unleashes online and you can be an awesome software developer. That's our goal of this website and I would really love to see you there. We also have in-depth courses that will turn you into an expert and they're really step-by-step, -step, uh, even more in-depth uh, in greater detail than we have in these YouTube videos. So you'll accel it'll accelerate your pace to becoming an expert. That's